All right. Return of J. Cool. Oh, oh hey, my game I game think... sync settings. I think I Mike test. Zelna and J Cool. I'm J Cool. Call me that because I'm cool. We Launch C you... Gear Communications. No thanks. It won't make what? a difference if you do. Okay, well, is that okay? Yes, I it think is. It, just, it shows stuff on the bottom. Uh, all right. So hey, it's been a while. It's, it's spring, spring now. For both of us. Uh, last time you crashed and i think you need to fight n again oh yeah that's right i, I decided I think I not was... to do that and to go explore this train tracks area instead yeah do uh how did why did it crash i forgot i don't think we ever got an answer uh i believe there's fighting pokemon in this field of grass well let's check it out you mentioned looking for those because the next gym is normal type Oh yeah, and the only way, the only thing that can beat a normal type is fighting. That is not fighting, but it evolves into fighting, I think, if I remember correctly. No, it's just pure no. water type. Actually, I think it turns into water ground. Oh. So I don't know if it's audible at all, but I'm still, uh, I'm still a little bit sick. I've been yeah. getting over an illness for the past week or so. Caught something on the, probably on the plane from Florida. Oh, I hope it's not... it's not the vid. That would suck. <clears throat> Alright. Oh yeah, Paprika, I remember. Cute little, uh... flying elephant thing. Oh, that wasn't enough. Shit. Oh no! Oh wait, what? Oh, he's, you're zooming in. Thank you. I guess I could have caught it, but I don't know. I, I didn't. How did you have one? I wasn't paying attention. Meanwhile, I have Exploud. This dude Explode. just whipped that out. I don't even. I have no memory of what my team is. Oh yeah, let me let me check my team. Uh, so I got. Uh, I guess I'll hmm. sucker punch it. So if I remember correctly, for my randomizer, the types are the same. So the, really the only thing randomized is the moves that they that Pokemon learn and uh, what could be in the fields of grass. Hello, Darian. Yeah. Hold on, does, do the seasons affect what Pokemon show up? Do fighting Pokemon appear in, this, in, the, in that field in the spring? They do, not usually th to that degree. Like, uh, birds won't show up in the winter. Is one difference. Okay. Pinwheel Forest. Oh, I didn't right. set the YouTube thing correctly. Whoops. I forgot one step of the streaming thing. YouTube probably says we're playing something completely different. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, How the... dare you? You didn't do the do it properly. Yeah, it says we're still playing Sonic 06. We're not, <laughs> but... Not pretend. today. Uh, on the topic of DS streaming. So I'm trying to get things together for another anime night. Yeah. A series of anime, anime fighting games. And uh, unfortunately, it does not seem there's a way to stream the Bleach DS game multiplayer. Oh, that's a shame. That means that there's no reason for us to... Uh have it then as like a part of anime game night too i can stream here's the weird thing i can stream multiplayer with the frame limiter off you know like the the emulators all sped up that works but as soon as i turn the frame limiter on as soon as it's 60 fps it it collapses that's so weird have you tried other emulators uh melon ds is actually one of the very few that works at all with it well, Except it doesn't work because shit. you have to have the frame limiter off. Oh man, we we we're not gonna be able to show off uh, Kira's weird ass launcher. Sadly, no. <laughs> you think he'll launch you up, but no, he tricks you. <laughs> weird move set. <laughs> Just... I was I was I interested interested in that one too because I played a ton of that on the DS. It was apparently considered one of the best fighters on the DS, which is probably a low bar, but. It's it's all right, yeah. It was 
I think, I think, oh no, sorry, it's not, it's autumn now. Did you enter and leave a building? I entered and left a building, it went from summer straight to autumn. Wow, the seas in, the, in this place are really confusing. I was in for five seconds and suddenly months have passed. It's still better it's, than Equestria where the seasons go backwards somehow. It's it's reverse Game of Thrones. Seasons don't last years, they last weeks. <laughs> so what are you going to do during your uh, last quarter break? Wait, is that winter break? Oh, well, we can't have winter break. We'll have be off school every four weeks. Every three weeks. Haruhi's endless eight. She repeats the last hour of summer over and over again. Oh my gosh. Well, I think at that point, uh, Kion would be able to figure it out way quicker. I also want to know whose dumb idea it was to lock fighters in fighting games. Uh, I mean... I, I don't just, know, I want to boot up my JoJo and play all the characters. I'm, I'm not good enough to unlock all the JoJo's. Well, you just, what was it I said? Just, just get good. Well, I was gonna say like you could just uh, use cheats to uh, to make it easier in one way or another. That's what I, that's what I'm gonna have to try to resort to. Unfortunately, there's no just unlock all characters cheat for the Dreamcast version of JoJo. You just make, you make yourself like max permanent maximum health and then one hit kill. I guess I'll have to see if the, that works. The real the real challenge you were mentioning was the Baki game. That was also yeah. There's a there's a Baki fighting game on the PS2 that was only localized in English in Europe, and they did not acknowledge that it was a, a licensed anime game. They just no. called it Fighting Fury and thought people oh, yeah. would buy it was its own thing. Baki, what's that? <laughs> Oh, it's like a, it's like a, like a Street Fighter clone. Uh, it does not play like that at no, all, from what no, I've it seen. Doesn't. It's, it's like shitty Tekken, from what I saw. I can't wait, I can't wait to feel how bad it is for myself. It feels so jank that I'm not totally positive that it's running correctly, but hey, we'll find out. <laughs> that's, that's a, that's a good, that's a good sign. Just, is this running correctly? <laughs> oh man. I'll, I'll figure it out. Those ones might have to go on hold. I have uh, eight games to play, and four of them are currently in a state that we can we can play them. And I, is one of them Ranma one half? Yes, that one. Good. Did. That one actually, I think, still had my save. I must have played it on my own because I had a I had a save file with all the characters unlocked. That's that's good. All the characters, the character. They only have uh -huh. like two unlockables, but I. Did you know uh, I actually have played uh, the Ramon One Half fighting game before? Oh yeah, in what I have context? So I uh, I originally uh, I went to a middle school, and that middle school had like an after school program, and one of it was called like the Anime and Games Club. Yeah, and uh, and that well, somebody brought in their SNES games, and one of them was the Ramon One Half fighter. And I'm like, what the fuck is Ramon One Half? And I knew nothing about it. I. I don't think it was even translated. I think somebody just brought in their Japanese copy or some shit. And I played it, and I was just like, Wow, oh, this certainly is a game. And, but uh, my favorite memories are when I when I was playing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles SNES fighting game. And uh, and I figured out how to do Hadoukens, like, or that game's equivalent of Hadoukens and shit. And... Uh, and some guy was like, hey, can you stop doing the freaky energy things? <laughs> no freaky energy things. It was like, it's weird being on the other side of this. Yeah. It's so weird. Oh! Didn't you have, like, your, your brother or cousins or someone complained about you using projectiles in fighting games as a kid? Yeah, and that was another uh, thing where it was like, please, no projectiles. I'm like, yeah, you could do it too. It's like, I don't know how. It's simple. You just rotate. And then hit it, and they were on the wrong side. They're like, no, but it's not working. And I'm like, I think you're doing this on purpose. And I'm just like, okay, I'll sink to your level. And I just beat them just by just by punching them and ducking. It's like, no ankle biting, no. 
We're gonna play with extreme gentleman's rules. This means you, Kyle. Bo <laughs> Boxing only. Um, oh, I, I had a story that I wanted to wait on and tell you now because uh, I, I saw I saw a trailer. I actually saw another trailer I thought was ridiculous, but uh, but that one has to be seen to be believed. But this one is funny. So it's a trailer. I'm not gonna tell you the title of the movie until until like way later because. You'll understand why I saved that. Oh, uh, it's summer for me. It's autumn now. Okay. Well, we're both in autumn. Go uh, on. So the movie has like this uh, woman who booked like a like an Airbnb for a house, and then she goes. This guy is there. He's like, "Oh, sorry, I, uh, I, I, I are in this house." And she's like, "Oh, well, shit." He's like, "Hey, you can you can stay with me if you want. I I, you, I can take the couch." And she's like, "Sure." And then. Like, she finds out that there's, like, an elaborate underground torture prison underneath her house. And it's just people, like, going, Help me! Ah! Please help me! Oh, uh, you f you're fighting two Litwicks. Okay. I didn't know that was possible. So, uh... <laughs> I'm just getting temples. What the fuck? So... So that, so it, that, that's the that's the premise of the movie is just is just like some kind of weird social experiment torture dungeon underneath this house, and uh, you know what the movie is called? What's it called? The movie is called Barbarian. Why? <laughs> it's just like you can't just title a movie Barbarian and not have a Cody and the Barbarian as person with a battle axe like slaying like demons and shit like. <laughs> <laughs> is there is, is there gonna be a movie about a barbarian and, and like slaying stuff and it's gonna be called like torture house or some shit? <laughs> See Bar them driven before you. God. I was uh, I was expecting like wait I was half I was throughout this movie I was like going like okay where's when's the barbarian gonna come in. Where is the barbarian gonna come out with his sword and be like, I, I am from, I am from Croatia, but never happened. So it says there's a forty percent chance of Tim pole and a thirty percent chance of fighting Pokemon. Oh wow, I'm just getting lucky, forty percent all the time. Uh, whoops. So. I already caught one, and I and I didn't even. I should check my <coughs> box. Maybe it's there already. Do yeah, I'm gonna check my poke box. Do I have a catcher? I have a spore. You have a pitcher. Bad joke. It's impossible to use a pokeball without being focused. Oh, I can't use. I can't use one of my Pokemon's turn to throw a Pokeball. I have to use both turns for that. Oh, that sucks. Alright, I wonder who the Pokemon storage person is in this in this one. I have an Odino, a Blitzel, and a Pydove. So no, I don't have any Pokemon fighting Pokemon. All right. <coughs> Barbarian. The other movie I saw was, uh, or the trailer I saw was a movie called uh, Smile, and uh, the guy on YouTube, known as uh, uh, Your Movie Sucks, he was like, he was like, this is, this trailer proves that people can be scared by anything. He says di di divisively. Yeah. It's like the movie begins with like this person who I guess is like some kind of counselor interviewing this woman who's like, I can't sleep. It follows me. It smiles at me. She looks up at the psychologist. She's like, starts screaming like, ah, ah. and then she goes to like the psychologist goes to pick up a phone and then you see her. She's gone and then like like a, a tray is broken. She's just standing there smiling and then she like slowly slits her own throat and. On this and episode now, of Mari, we have a guest who is terrified of smiles. Well, <laughs> well then, and then like she goes and then she sees, sees a guy just standing there smi vacantly smiling 
at her. He goes to like waves her hand up and he says nothing. And I'm like, that'd be creepy enough, right? You see just like smile, like people smiling vacantly and you wonder if you're going crazy. But then the guy just goes, you're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. And I'm just like, that's lame. That's pretty lame. That's just fucking temple. I feel like the, the horror genre has at once exploded, and also no one knows what to do with it. I've seen a lot of really good horror films, though. I've seen, like, Midsummer and Hereditary were pretty good. That's cheating. That's maybe the same person. Uh, there was that movie that came out recently called Men. Yeah? Yeah, and it's, uh... It was, uh, pretty, uh, crazy. It's like they had they had uh, the same actor play all the men except for one, who was I don't know that that movie was very strange. Maybe the same guy who did Ex Machina. I I feel like we're gonna there's an Ursae character who's terrified of all men. We're gonna just gonna be full of references to that when we get to her. You're. I kind of want to do, like, a parody of, like, a horror movie, except with Urusei and Sarah characters. Who would be the... It'd just be Cherry just looking at something going, You're gonna die! You're gonna die! You're gonna die! Athena! Oh, okay, I... I, I, I my, one of my favorite parts was, uh, was, like, yeah, there were, been tw there were 20 cases where a person keeps kept saying, like, like, a... Like, people smile, and then 19 of them died, and she's like, Wait... Who's the twentieth one? She goes to visit him, and then they talk, and she's like, "Oh, by the way, I I see it too." And he, and the guy, is just terrified, he goes, "You have?" And it's like, "Get her away from me!" <laughs> just like, I kind of want to see what it's about because maybe it's good. Like, I can't imagine it being good, but like, I don't know. It's I. Let's I look at the trailer, and I'm like, "Oh, I gotta see what this hot mess is about." So that Litwick, Litwick I was fighting was a normal type. It's just a candle. Ordinary candle. I thought types weren't. I thought so too. I forgot what I... I guess they are randomized. A normal candle. Yeah, it's just a fucking candle. It's just a little candle with a happy face on it. <clears throat> this uh, track... This town track makes me feel like I'm I should be playing like a fucking like a pool game or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that one Genesis version of uh that uh that Minnesota Fats Pool Legend video game. I'm not I'm not familiar. Oh, uh, it's a game. So there was this uh Genesis game called Minnesota Fats Pool Legend which was canonically based off of a fucking uh game like a novel like novel series called the hustler and the color of money and yet i i it's it's complicated to to like talk about but then they made like a sequel to that for uh sega cd with like fmv cutscenes that were kind of bizarre okay as they yeah. liked to do on on disc games yeah I feel like FMV games need to need to come back in some way. The technology's at to at a point where we could we could do it. Yeah. Here we go, timber. All right, I, I need to update myself. See what Pokemon I actually have. I have an Absol that is a dark ghost with flame body. A fighting dark Abra. Uh, I have my Grass Water Dragon. And I have a Ghost Dratini. Alright. Oh, uh, I should... I gotta show you this video, because this guy did a couple videos about how broken catching was in the first two gins. I think I've... I haven't watched the video, but I've seen it recommended. The one that says, yeah. like, Great Balls are better than Ultra Balls. Oh, yeah. This is what it's supposed to do. This is what it actually does. There's a lot of stuff that does the opposite of what it's supposed to do in Gen 1. 
Yeah, d d imagine Pokemon was like... It was coded like a fucking fever dream. And about how, uh... Like, originally it was supposed to increase the tension. If it, like, dude, dude, dude. But it, it was just like, if it... Like, certain uh, po Pokemon were keyed so that if you, like... If if it if it went past a certain threshold, you knew you could get it. You you've done it. Yeah. Yeah. And legendary Pokemon working so differently in Gen One in that like low catch rate meant you just missed the Pokeball. Yeah, but the, but if you manage to get it in, you know you've you've uh, you've made it. Yeah. Which makes the fact that I when I was a kid I would brag about catching Mewtwo in a Pokeball less impressive. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Buddy. No, you brag. No, I mean, it, once it evolves, it'll look like a clown. So, all right, good. I got my like fucking fighting type now. Hello, That's Scizor. Good. Just hanging out. He's straight vibing. Look at the way he's dancing. Bzz, d -d 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 he looks like a bionicle. Oh man. Yeah, I remember bionicle. Have you ever uh, watched any of those Bionicle movies? Uh, no, I didn't. Me neither. What was, like, the plot? Like, we gotta get the thing? It never really get looked get interesting so can... to me. Then again, I didn't got... like uh, Transformers or any of those either. What was there? There were like... Zoids. I like giant robots if giant robots are piloted. Nobody's piloted Transformers garbage. That means that I can't fulfill my fantasy of being a giant robot pilot. Wasn't there one called, like, Beetleborgs or something? Maybe. There was, uh... I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, no. Well... Oh. I, I assumed use... when people were talking about Animorphs that that was a robot show for the longest time. No, it's a series never... of books. No, there was, a, there was one, uh... There was there a was Transformers person... Animals show. Beast there was Wars. one. Oh my god, hold on. Just give me a moment. Ugh. That was weird. Uh give me a give me a sec. Mm. Alright. That passed. Uh something about uh anamorphs. Hello? Uh yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right, yeah. So animorph, some guy thought that, and I thought that it was like uh, these kids that can turn into animals and they fight fought crime. But turned out that wasn't the case. They were just fighting aliens. Yeah, it was like very hard sci-fi. Well, it was sci-fi, not hard sci-fi. What would hard sci-fi be? Um, two thousand one Space Odyssey. What is this normal rock scissor? Yeah, don't you see? It's a rock. Have you seen the uh, the new Scizor, the new Scyther evolution in the Legends Arceus? Arceus? No, I haven't. There's one that's like, uh, I think it's called Cleavor. It's like it's like a rock bug with giant axe hands or something. <laughs> no, I I can see why that got uh, that got made extinct. It's an evolutionary dead end. Cool. Buggy is mine. Alright, so I had to fight a gym leader. Was the gym leader the one in town? Or... Uh, yeah. I assume... This is outside town, so you can't go through the forest yet. I would imagine. I don't think so, no. All I got is a low kick and a focus energy. I guess I could use focus energy. It works this time, right? Yeah. Garbodor. Actually, you know what? We back. Did your internet drop, Darian? He just moved. However, unfortunately, he only moved, like, slightly down the street. Oh. 
So uh, not a whole lot has changed. All right, I'm gonna save first because I don't want to lose my fucking. I'm once again getting distracted with catching a bunch of Pokemon I'll probably never use. It's fine. That's that's Pokemon. Oh hey, spikes. You're a sleepy garbage pile, aren't you? Oh, there's a trainer. I keep losing track of that fact. I don't know what's going on anymore. Okay, where is the gym? Is this the gym? Oh, this is a church. Oh. I want to see things no one can see. The ideals of Pokemon inside Pokemon. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. I'm sorry, have we met? No. What? This track is... bizarre. Oh, that's right, they put the poison spikes out. Whoops. Should have considered that... Tactically, it was a bad move. I tried to kick the fish, but I missed. Okay, uh... Well, it's a flying type. Ah, uh, fuck it, Musashi. High defense penguin. No, it's an otter, sorry. Penguin's another one. Ugh, Revolver Oshawott. Would Saul Snake actually be like an Ekans or some shit? I saw, what was it? It was, uh... It was the three Unova starters, but it was Revolver Oshawott, Solid Snivy, and, uh, Pig Boss. Oh. That's good. That's actually pretty good. Alright, that's dead. Uh, Relic temple. silver. Oh, another temple, huh? Yeah, seems like it. Well, temple's normal, right? It's uh, water. Oh. Is it? Yeah. Okay. A lot of my stuff was weak to water, except for fucking... This thing. I don't even know why I'm training the things that I'm training. I guess they're going to have high stat totals anyway. <clears throat> Hello. I'm going to do what's called a pro gamer move. Here, let me, uh... Wow, Tim. Sorry, can I tweak the, the chat? Yeah, and fit it all on screen that way. You know what? I could go around you. Let let's do that. Timber. No, I'm gonna keep fighting. Hello. Oh, it's you again. I don't have to fight you, do you? Do I? I don't know if you've been to the stream before. I'm Zelrog. Other guy's Jack. Hi. Hey, cool. I got him. I'm one. I've played through the games before. Jack hasn't. This is his first Unova experience. And uh, he's played through... Uh, he's uh, doing it randomized. I'm doing normal. <coughs> oh, Moonlight! That's a healing move. That's good. Get rid of uh, get rid of Defense Curl. Place it with Moonlight. I guess they don't have a day... They have seasons, but they don't have a day-night cycle in this gen. That is a feature that really just comes and goes as it pleases. Gen 2 like had day-night. Gen 4 had day-night. I think Sun and Moon, Gen 7 had day-night. Did Sword Shield? Yes, that had day-night. 
But only in the wild area. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff only in the wild area. So, uh, update since the previous time we've streamed this. After a very long number of hours, we are finally caught up on Pokemon highlights. Yes. Got all the way through Gen 4. Check those out. I, I talk... We talk about stuff like Kim Possible and other stuff. There's a lot of clips that come from the uh, the Pokemon streams. Probably also get a lot from, like, Miitopia. Just games that we podcast, talk about random yeah. shit during. Podcast gaming. Mm. I was just thinking about a new battle strategy. Let me send out my two pie doves. <laughs> Oh no, it's Inner randomized. Earth. He's got different things. He's got an Anerith. Whatever that is. Ooh. <clears throat> did you, uh, you beat N? Yeah, I did. Now I'm gonna save. It was actually easier the second time around. Yeah. Or... Did I have trouble with him the first time? I don't think so. I don't remember. What I have trouble with that I, that got me so pissed off that I'm like... Well, the game crashed and you lost like 15 minutes of progress. Oh. I think maybe some Pokemon that I caught that I didn't have anymore, maybe. Alright. Whenever I look at this skeleton, I'm fascinated. Okay. Keep feeling fascination. I'm Hawes, the assistant director. Since you were kind enough to visit, I'll give you a tour of the museum. This isn't a fucking Pokemon gym. The skeleton is of a dragon-type Pokemon. It's a theory that it had an ancient accident while it was flying around the world. And so it became a fossil. You mean it died? No, we can't use that word. <laughs> this rock is amazing. It's a meteorite. It contains some kind of energy from space. That's later. This is an ordinary old stone. I just put it here because it looks cool. Doesn't seem to have any value. It's pretty, though. Pokemon Gym is just beyond here. You know, in a museum. Oh, the also, gym leader is my wife. My wife. <laughs> the strong and kind. Whatever is going to be the opposite. She's going to be. Oh gosh. Okay, I think I figured out what was going on. I'll be right back. Okay. I am. I got to use the restroom. Sorry. <laughs> Enjoy this music. Can I ghost this Kingdra to death? Oh, it it's got Aqua Ring going. I want to level up my lower Pokemon, but they're too weak to do anything. I gotta get carried by Absol. For some reason, I thought that something couldn't be burned while it had Aqua Ring. I wonder what I'm thinking of. How many encounters are in each area? Because it feels like in the randomized version, it's a lot more than in the base game. I didn't even encounter all the things that I could find in the grass so far. Also, I should put Scizor away. Are, uh, still undecided 
how we will do the 3DS gens when we get to those. Might just be Jack playing them, since there's no randomizer for them. I don't actually know if I could run two instances of Citra at once or not. It's surprisingly resource intensive. What have I got so far? I got a few things. Oh, I already, why did I catch Litwick? I already had the Evolve form. I already had a Kingdra. Pure water type. Got a lot of things that probably are not going to be worth evolving. I'm glad about the, uh... It's a good type combination for Absol. No weaknesses in this gen. He's the only, like, really good Pokemon i found so far. I guess the others I just have in my party because they're pseudo-legendaries. I guess I should also go fight the, uh... Fight the edgy Mystic Man. What is it about Bishonen anime edge boys that invariably make them wildly popular characters? I don't like N. I, I, there's a lot of stuff about this generation I don't actually like, but people love him. People love Sephiroth. Zuko, okay, Zuko's pretty cool. Oh, he's a, he's a nurse in this one. It's Nurse N and his Dunsparce. Oh, that's adorable. I want a Dunsparce. <sighs> Just gonna armor up. Is that physical defense? Maybe I can still thunder. Does he not have any other moves? Is Thunder more accurate? I, it, I might have randomized move power and... Uh, and PP. Because Thunder's not supposed to have 20 PP. Give him a ghost ball. kind of regret randomizing the types. I don't know what anything is. And there's so many I'd have to memorize now. Because this is the gen with the most Pokemon in the randomization pool. I have no idea what that what that Azumarill was. Right. Hitmonchan, oh he's got more. Dark Void. How strong is that now? Oh, that's the that's the Rai, the Rai move, the sleep move. I 
I could use that. So what is Sucker Punch? 100, 100. 75, 100. I don't think I'm a special attacker. No, he's, he's mixed. I am back. Hello. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. I um, got a sleep move. Oh, cool. There's a dark sleep move? It was a dark rye a signature move, and it works in double battles. It puts po both Pokemon to sleep. Ah. I cannot see the future yet. Oh, hey, go catch some, some fighting Pokemon. I already did. All right, save early, saved off, save often. Something, something legendary Pokemon. Okay, crazy. Bye. <clears throat> Talk about doing a novel AI again as well. Once my voice yeah. is back. <laughs> That'd be cool again. Oh, I saw I saw a dun AI dungeon on Steam. Oh, okay. I don't know how that's gonna work, but whatever. I guess that's a business model if people aren't buying the subscription stuff. Well, we'll see what goes on with that. Oh wow! Four, oh, five levels over me. You know, it's one fighting move. It's got crunch at level 17? It, it cheat. This, I remember last time that one. Oh, wow. Yeah, this, this isn't going to be a problem. Oh, it can. I know block what's it. coming. It protected. I like how it's got a big piece of plank wood, but it just. <laughs> it's just. Oh, I'm going to kick low. Kick, 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 kick low with the whistle go. All right, gotcha. Attack and defense up. I may be a bookworm, but oh, I... I'm not Ooh. a bug Pokemon. I'm J Cool. But... What's my next one gonna be called? About this rate. We might just have to have you play Gen 6 on your own. Yeah, then I will be... Alright. Next. So this is a library. Normal library. It's a library in the back of the museum that is also a Pokemon gym. This is not the book you're looking for. <clears throat> Pokemon trainers, I'm the gym leader, Lenora. I had four memos. Each of them has a question. Can you solve the questions and come find me? First question. What is the first Pokemon you met at this gym? Oh, I'm fucked. So... <laughs> so, so... <laughs> Jack, what was it? <laughs> Hat rat. Yeah, I get burned, idiot. Second to... question. Flame burns inside its body and it gives off smoke from its head while it runs. What is this book? Somebody may be reading it. In that case. Yeah. Jack, I don't know if you've heard, but having fun isn't hard with a library card. <laughs> yes. Yeah, let's have a Pokemon battle. Let's do it. It's a... Uh, wow, scientist woman. Oh! It's a cute, what a cute little doggy. 
Now, now see here. Oh, you, <laughs> you <laughs> using items like a. Okay, I have to focus my energy this time. School girl Joey. <laughs> they grow up fast. Oh. What, what happened? did he get hit? Crit me. What did he use? I missed it. It <laughs> happened so fast. Oh, that does it. Oh, he spit on me. What was that? What's water sport do again? Uh, weakens fire moves. Oh, well, shit. I, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, oh, wet dog smell. I'm gonna ruin your library in revenge. Is this really a good what place to be having Pokemon battles? Why does his tackle hit so fucking hard? Well, it's, a, it's an evolved normal type. I guess it's power creep in Pokemon. They're giving them good stats now. I can't believe that attack I was done in by a fucking crit tackle of all things. Oh, they also oh. buff tackle. It's 50 power in this gen. I was confused. Come on, confusion proc again. You know you want to. All right, Abra, you you need the yes. ESP, sure. I guess. Why am I raising Abra? Wait, what? Who 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 could learn Razor Shell? Oh, uh, Musashi can. It's a physical move. I'm gonna guess like 50 power. Let's see. 75. Uh, 75 power. May yeah, may lower defense. What? Oh, my defense or their defense? Their defense. Do you really need All water right. sport? Yay! I have never known anybody so powerful. <laughs> really? It hurts harder. Ah, oh, it's evolving. Yes. My vagabond karate otter. Thank you. <laughs> you have a pot, it'll be delicious. What is this? It's a hot pot. But first I gotta heal my Pokemon, you freaks of nature. <laughs> the fucking dog just immediately took down. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> this is one of the other fighting Pokemon in this gem. Sock. It's just got weird Mario and Luigi fist brothers. Alright, let's try this again. With dragon oh, meteors! <laughs> dragon meteors. Not that strong, apparently. <laughs> you ever uh, wanted to play uh, Dragon Ball Z Le Legacy of Goku? Nah. I've always been aware of those games' existences, but uh, they never seem like my kind of games. 
Especially since I've since heard the first one was, like, kind of a train wreck, and it took them until the second one to make a good game. Yeah, I played the uh, first one a little bit, and Goku has is, like, threatened by squirrels and shit. It's funny. Coil. How does that work? What are you coiling around? From this, move two backward, one to the left, move two forward, one to the right, and move one backward. It... It's this one. Yeah. Alright, what kind of uh, Pokemon trainer are you? What? What's your class? Schoolgirl, whatever. In my version, they're all bikers. School kid Lydia. Oh, the pre vault version of the fucking. I got you this time. Can't take me down. I'll take you down. How about this? Focus energy. Still alive! I'm getting pumped! No. I am not gonna crit until, uh... The very last one, probably. Nope. They fixed focus energy, right? Yeah. It's still an if-it-works move. Well, at least I'll keep it when, uh, when this one, so... Low kick. Nope. Bite. Low kick. <gasps> Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna have to heal. I don't think that I had learned this the last time we streamed this game. So, yeah. there was a... I showed you a 4Kids CD album that they sold of all of their, like, theme songs that they made for shows over the years. You've mentioned this. It's also that... been, like, scrubbed from the internet. I could not find it. You know... They were able... Somebody was able to find that uh, Scientology album over the internet... It has a it has a page on Spotify, but it's unavailable everywhere. The Four Kids album. Also, they have like uh, it's like three themes per track, and they're like totally mixed and matched. For some reason. That's weird. They medleyed it. Yeah. That is weird. So if you want to listen to the uh, the Pokemon theme, you gotta also listen to like two Winx Clubs themes or something. That is very strange to do. Still alive? Do I want to risk it? Now nah, heal. Stay hydrated. Oh, it was a potion. Yeah. I think that's what I think all the gyms do that in this gen. The guy just gives you water. Here, you want some water? <clears throat> yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, let's read it. Okay, so Tepig wasn't the answer to the thing that's tasty in a pot. <laughs> nope. <clears throat> Hidden staircase. I'll be right back. Hey, we're at the same area. I just realized. Did we get to the little pig in Ranma? Oh, yeah. Ryoga? Yeah. It's a character yeah, that we... turns into a pig. I just occurred to me that it looks very similar to Tepig. Hmm. 
It's really stark the change in art style Pokemon has gone through over the years. Uh, have you seen the video, uh, the problem with Pokemon's art style? And it's like comparing no. Gen 1 to Gen 5? Has uh, been recommended to me, have not watched it. Is, what'd you think of it? I haven't watched it either. Oh. Like, no, no. Carl Pilkington just reads headlines, I just look at YouTube thumbnails. <laughs> All right, I think I'm ready for you, lady. We're actually in, a, in the same spot for once. I'm saving at the same time. Mmm! That food I ate is not sit well with me. God damn it, I hate it when this happens. You need a minute again? Let me try this first. I'm going to research how you battle with Pokemon. All right, so, uh... Her opening one for me is... Jack, it's Aunt Jemima. Ah, her dear? Oh, her dear. That's... Some people weren't thinking. happy with this gym leader. I can see why. Oh, <laughs> she's sitting here, her dactyl on your ass. Bring it on, I can... Go, go to sleep. Sludge wave, it's a poison aerodactyl. How do I, uh, reset? Start Can't. select LR. There you go. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna be able to do it immediately. I need to, uh... Need to grind a little bit. You can go in the forest. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the forest. I'm not... I'm... It did take down on me. I lost, like, a big chunk of my health. And... Ah, Sucker Punch even works if it plans to attack me in its sleep. Did it just crash? <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> I... Softlock via bad coding. Oh my god. I'm considering doing an audiobook again over the summer. Oh, yeah? I looked at the, like, there's a way to sort by, like, best Amazon sales. And the two top ones are a mystery book about a Catholic priest who solves mysteries. Cool. And a book about a sexy demon CEO boss. Ooh! So it's... <laughs> Not sure which I should do. Heaven or hell? Let's rock. Let's rock. This <laughs> is like rip. This is like some s like a uh, Shin Megami Tensei shit. Like, do you choose to walk the path of order or chaos? Maybe we should just go back and see if Donald Trump Necromancer is still requested. Is that a thing? That was a thing. That was a book that I saw. That's cool. Donald Trump, Necromancer. Ow. Okay, I underestimated the if Aerodactyl. You, if you want my honest opinion, you should probably <coughs> read both of them and see which one your voice would be more fitting for. I'll probably audition uh, for both. Yeah. Just see which one responds but, first. But what if you... Oh, what, you just do it... If they both respond at the same time, which one do you think you'll go for? Ah... Uh. I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Because I, I think I think you should totally... Oh! Rock throw! They want an American Southern accent for the Preacher one, so I guess I'd have to do this for the entire duration of the narration. In that case, you should, you should probably use your standard baritone for the, uh... for the Demon CEO one. Oh, you don't think my Southern is up to the task? Well, well, the demon did the demon CEO one. Your baritone would fit the tone of the story. 
I also don't know, because there's like the male character and, and the female character, and I have no idea which one the story is told from the perspective of. You just read this, read read both of them and just see. It, it tells you whether they want a male or a female narrator, and it did not specify for that one, so I guess they don't care. Okay. This mm. this Aerodactyl is kicking my ass. So apropos of uh, nothing, uh, did you ever read that uh, that one uh, Shindal manga? Shindal? Like, is it like a, I don't know which one. Uh, it, it's titled either Emergence or Metamorphosis. Depending on, I guess, what site you read it on. That you're not the one with Saki. That's the one, yes. Oh, no, I haven't. You haven't? Mm -mm. Yeah, probably for the best. It's, um... I know it's very, very depressing, and it was memed everywhere for a while. Yeah, the guy, uh, there's this guy who, uh, who, like, interviewed the author behind it, and he just seemed like a normal dude. Yeah. Maybe that's usually the case. Yeah. Just people were surprised at that for some reason. When the guy... There's other people that, like, called that manga the Citizen Kane of, like, hentai. Like, are people surprised to find out the director of the Saw movies is a normal, healthy person? Is, is the director of the Saw movies a normal, healthy person? I don't actually just, know. I think, yeah, they're just... They, they, another thing that the, like, writers, uh, I, I think the writers made was a, something called Repo the Genetic Opera. Yeah. Which is, like, you can't be, like, a super serious person to make something like that. And then there was, uh... You can go into the forest if you want. Oh, there's a forest? Yeah, I'm just through, here. The, through the gate to the left. Oh. This is outside the front of the forest. There's no way I'm winning this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take out this Aerodactyl just for the moral victory. How many how many Pokemon did you lose trying to take out that uh, Aerodactyl? All of them. I am down to my last seven health poisoned Abra. I'm rem I'm reminded of uh, like the beginning of uh, like the beginning of uh, the uh, Train Records video on uh, the Human League when the Todd goes at what cost a hit? I can't go into the forest. It's being blocked by a bunch of cultists. Can you walk around and get Pokemon encounters? No, it's probably only well, maybe. Are they only in grass here? Yeah, they're only in grass. Yeah. I it's fine. Once I hit level 20, I'll, I think I'll be confident enough to take him out. You can keep looking for, like, the, the Mario or Luigi fist, man. What is he, is is he like, black? 10%? Yeah. yeah, he's a 10% for Sock. Okay. Socky. There's a short red one and a tall blue one, and you have the tall blue one. <coughs> Apparently, though, I, I mentioned uh, Shindal and... And his like because uh, there was a uh, there was a, like an Omake like <clears throat> picture that uh, that the guy made with yeah. the main character. Why am I not doing so much damage? What the fuck? I'm like three levels ahead of him. That's weird. Go on. Where uh, where the woman was uh, was like. It was like as if she was an actress performing in something called Emergence. So it was like, you know, it's okay. It's, it's, she's not really like that. I'm just reminded of the time the uh, author, uh, the, the manga of uh, Black Lagoon did something similar where it showed all the main characters of Black Lagoon out of character as like their individual actors and actresses. Yeah. And like the, you're familiar with the characters of Hansel and Gretel, right? Uh, in uh, in in Black Lagoon, re refresh my memory. Are they're they the like assassin. incestuous? Yes, they were the incestuous assassin twins okay. that had very horrible fucking shit happen to them. And then there's just like twin girls. Oh yeah, is the and, yeah, actors as the actresses? Yeah, and and uh, I think it was like there was a rumor that. And then they, like, said, oh, we fell like his makeup takes hours to put on there. And I'm, like, thinking about it like that, and it's, like, if you're 
if you ever need to write like uh, like horrible shit, if, that's like a buffer. That's like you know how like some people create like in computers create like multiple. I think I know what's going on. I need to switch out my Pokemon. He's he's lowering my attack by growling at me. Yeah, that's fine. It's just like a layer you have. It's like a certain layer of protection, like putting on a condom before having sex. Yeah. I have no, I have no way to heal poison. This is a lost cause. Well, you know what? I'll take it. I'll, I'll take the the exp from that Aerodactyl. You're gonna lose half your uh, your cash though. Eh, money doesn't mean anything. I like how it says blacked out as if. <gasps> Like, what does that imply? Did, did the gym leader then attack you with the Pokemon to knock you out? Did you get so scared that you fainted? You were Your spirit was connected to your Pokemon, and when your Pokemon fainted, so you, did you... Oh, you it's like when rules. somebody. Yeah, it's like when you lose all your life oh, points. Oh! I lost half my life points! Ever tell you about the fanfic where... It was like Yu-Gi-Oh, except the the Yu-Gi-Oh was played by the people of Game of Thrones, and they're like, "Oh, you could use this for actual lethal duels and shit." I feel like you have. Yeah, I didn't get to the part where they where apparently there was a war mode. So, unfortunately, I don't know anything beyond that. But uh, yeah, I like I like weird fiction like that. All right. I, I don't know if I lost half my money, but I don't really want to give up all that Abra EXP to find out. That was good uh, EXP. Oh, cool. Yeah, just keep losing, and then you'll win, eventually. I can go see what's at uh, my pinwheel forest. I haven't been there yet. It's probably going to be blocked off by a bunch of cultists, too. I mean the front area, where you're at. Oh. Ah. Growl. Dang it. Did you ever see the, uh, the Viridian Gym episode of the Pokemon anime? Was that the... Where, no. uh, Giovanni was, like, busy or he left or something, so the final gym battle was against fucking Team Rocket, Jesse yeah, and James. Yeah, I, I did see that one. And, and they before... had it hooked up to a weird machine so that when your Pokemon is damaged, you will take damage. Oh my god. I don't remember how much of, how well of a fight they put up, but what, what a, what an anti-climax for the final obstacle to be Team Rocket. It would actually be funny if, like, they kind of, if Team Rocket wasn't a once an episode thing, but rather, like, they showed up occasionally. Like, I wish that Team Rocket just didn't show up every single fucking episode. Just have them show up sometimes. It got real old real fast, and there was never even a good reason for it. Oh, that Pikachu must be special. Let's dedicate get... our entire lives to getting it. It was, like, the closest the show ever got to being, like, a western, like, cartoon, like, series. It was, like, a- it was a dick dastardly level of pettiness. It's like fucking Coyote just wanting to get Roadrunner. Dude, hunt literally any other animal. I- I think with Coyote and Roadrunner, though, I think the reason why Wily couldn't, like, hunt any other, like, animal besides the Roadrunner, because, like- there was nothing to eat in that fucking wasteland. It looked like it looked like Goku and some other villain just did a battle over it, and they were the survive the lone survivors. <laughs> just... Wily Coyote just saw like Goku. It, that would be a great cartoon. Wily Coyote and and Roadrunner like going like doing their thing but that halfway through the episode they see Goku and Vegeta just fighting because it's a wasteland. You know what's insane is that ever since that Chip and Dale movie that feels possible now in oh, 2022 man, cinema. You don't even need to make it like a full length feature just have them fucking do it and it could be a robot chicken sketch. Oh yeah. It's, it's weird because robot chicken is like they're a bunch of 80s kids, but even then, they don't really seem to have much regard for anime. 
They did do a semi uh, respectful, uh, like, uh, DBZ parody. The only thing that was off was at one point, Goku picked up a gun and cocked it, but that was pretty much it. Are you talking about the Christmas one? Yeah. I, that was really taking the piss out of it. I wouldn't call that respectful. They take the piss out of everything, though. Eh, no. They, they're a love letter to 80s shit, like He-Man and, and Transformers and all that. I didn't think... I, I, I did, it did come off as offensive to me, but maybe... I, I don't know. I'm reminded of... Uh, a guy who, who does stuff like that, but is as respectful to 80s stuff as well as anime is... Uh, what was it called? Something JJ. I think I've showed you, like, his uh, Death Note 1 video, right? Yeah. Probably. Is, is the he one the where one it's like Light does, like, uh, Angry Birds? Yeah, and then they're like, you should purchase it. Damn, I, if I do, then he'll reveal that I'm Kira. And then, and then like, Ryuk's just laughing. He goes, what the fuck's an angry bird? He's pretty good. I, I like him. Yeah. So, Aduno are really good sources of EXP. And they're uh, a type that allows me to easily just... Like, they are. I feel like that's their main purpose, is for grinding. Because they're in... They're like the default rusting, gr rustling grash garbage Pokemon. Do they show up if I just stand still, or I do I think have to you move? need to walk around. Okay. Well. Oh, of course. This is where the, the preschoolers hang out. The train tracks. You wanna yep. see a dead body? <laughs> oh, I didn't fight this kid yet. I'll let you see what kinds of Pokemon I have. Rats! Oh. And dogs! And birds! So there's this one podcast I really like. And a like fucking mammo swine. Thanks. Sorry, go on. <laughs> that was funny. There's this one uh, podcast I like listening to called Film Reroll, and it's a bunch of like a tabletop RPG, like people slash actors that uh, take uh, like movies and just play through them as if they were games. And Stand by Me was one of those. Yeah. What do you mean play through them as if they were games? As if they were, like, so they take the movie scenarios, right? Oh, and tabletop and then, them, okay. Yeah, and tabletop them. <coughs> and uh, Stand By Me was one of them. And then they're like, but wait, if the kid, if the main character dies, then that makes that means that the early thing makes no sense. It's like, that's fine, it could just be a dying dream or something. It's a kid looking into a snow globe. It's, um... So, uh, what other ones did they do? They did the, like, a couple of the alien films. Uh. Oh, crap, a bird. Cool. Oh, I got I got I can throw rocks at it now. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> the Emperor's New Groove, but it's a tabletop session. Oh my god, that would be so weird. Um, oh, my favorite one is when they the guy did uh, Friday the 13th, the final chapter, but he didn't tell players they were doing Friday the 13th, the final chapter, and said he was like, oh, we're doing this a obscure 80s like uh, sex comedy called Summer Spell. Is that the one with the, hey, do you want to have premarital sex? I don't think it was that one. I think... I... Oh, that was Jason X. That was what way a later. dumb fucking scene. <laughs> Jason X was a dumb fucking movie. <laughs> had a scene where... Like, that's the one where Jason becomes a fucking cyborg. And yet, I think they... Didn't they include the sleeping bag kill in the in the Mortal Kombat, Jason? Uh... I think that's one of his fatalities. So. Yeah, but that... This is, like, a Mortal Kombat, which is, like, semi... Only semi-serious. <clears throat> I can't believe they... I like the fact that the, those fucking people at uh, Netherrealm were just like, hey, we'll have them talk... We'll have our characters in our fighting games talk to each other before they fight now. And then they have Sub-Zero as, like, a guest character in fucking Injustice 2. And it's just, like... Like, he's just so radically different from all the superheroes. It's great. We will prove ourselves through combat. You know heroes are supposed to kill each other, right? We must prepare for dark magic. Does he have the beard in that one, or does he just not take his mask off ever? He doesn't take his mask off, but he has a cool cape and shit. He looks like a superhero.
This move is certain to hit. Accuracy, 85. Uh... If it's not 85, it's 50%. If it's not 100%, it's 50% is what I've heard. I guess I'll learn. It doesn't seem that good in this iteration. Fighting dark type Pokemon? Uh, yeah, I have a fighting dark Abra. And I don't know what his special attack is like. Uh, is mi all, all my Pokemon are mixed attackers for the most part. No Dutrini special. Almost. Special attacker, but he's a ghost type. That ain't good. Maybe I'll have to Distratini. All these fucking temples. Hope I learn a better fighting type move soon. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna ditch my ghost Dratini. It's a silk scarf, okay. Like how you get the EXP share almost immediately, and I gotta wait till the end of my fucking game to get it. I don't remember where you get it in this game. I think we looked it up, and it wasn't very early, unfortunately. No. <clears throat> Alright, cool. More attack. Ooh. Okay. Well, level 19. Let's see if I can steamroll the uh, the gym leader now. Bell? Yeah, sure, Kadabra. Be a healer. Actually, do I have any TMs? Thief and Rock Smash. Rock Smash, Rock Smash actually. Well, no, that's only 40. What's Low Kick? Low Kick Probably depends on the target's weight. It couldn't, oh. it couldn't hurt to teach him Rock Smash for now. You can replace it later. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Get, get rid of Bide. Or should I get rid of Low... No, Low Kick is can be good against bigger Pokemon. That's right. TMs no longer uh, are. They're finally infinite use. Yes. I'm brave and I'm bold and I'm Batman. <laughs> I remember uh, Angry Video Game Nerd was doing a, a Batman themed episode. Every time he was like telling a game that it was gonna suck, he's like tells it, "I'm Batman," and then the fourth time he was gonna do, he's like. All right, I'm gonna move on to the next game, but first I'm gonna tell this game that I'm Batman. I'm Batman. You ever play any Bat Batman games? Um, I had one on the Genesis, and I never got very far in it as a kid. I played a little bit of Arkham Asylum. Probably should should have continued that. <laughs> that was pretty decent. I think I tried Arkham Asylum, but it felt too slow for me. It, it's game. It, it's uh, fighting style is basically 
a guy's gonna throw like a punch at you. Better hit the button uh, so to block it. It's one of those slow, quick time based kind of action games that kind of took over in the 2010s. Yeah, because you know Assassin's Creed was doing something similar as well for quite some time. It was just like a guy's gonna throw something at you, hit the button, and then, and then, yeah. Alright, I think I can beat him now. A weird kung fu cadabra. <clears throat> Here we go. Plus ultra. Go to sleep. Like black characters are already pretty rare in Pokemon, and that's what they—that's what they go with. It's like not like I don't know. Like it's not the worst, but I can see why people would raise an eyebrow. Yeah. What was the one that uh, B was? People were complaining the anime whitewash. They made her skin tone lighter. Wait, they did for B. In, I, I don't remember which Pokemon anime it was, but I remember that was a controversy, yes. There's no reason for that. Oh, you super potion, you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess it's heavier than... Okay. That sucks. This fucking dog's just body checking you to death. This is this is Whitney all over again. At least it can't heal or attract. Bye, Beam. Oh, you're taking me down again, huh? It's got to be fast too. Yeah, it's a it's a fast dog. Finally. Well, Die. it's like having a real dog. It's uncontrollable and it keeps tackling you. Alright. Oh. Watchog. It's the evolved ah. pat rat. Okay. Do you have any status moves like sleep or paralysis? Uh my uh Oh! Yeah, you're right. If any if there was ever a Pokemon that looked like it had a stick straight up its butt. What you you can't retaliate, I didn't do anything yet! Oh, I think it, this is a... it's if a, an ally fainted in the previous turn. Retaliate oh. is stronger. Damn it. Oh, I don't want to have Kadabra out, he's almost dead. <clears> oh, <throat> I saved recently. Ah! Uh, I would hope you what? saved just before the gym leader. Thought I did. Yeah, it's Autumn, I get it. Uh, it did crashed. Why is it doing that for this game? It didn't do it for any <laughs> of the other ones. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not doing too well at all. I even, I made two copies of, of Bleach Dark Souls to try to get it to, to play multiplayer. But it didn't work. It does What's work. We just have to play it super fast. Oh, turbo mode. Yeah. Dark, Bleach Dark Souls Super Turbo Edition. I guess we'll never play a Dark Souls game. If you were, if I were to pay you, how much would I pay you for you to play through Dark Souls? Uh. I what would you? I what could, would be your asking price? I guess I could be convinced to do it. It's just a lack of stream time. Yeah, I, I'm just saying, what, what what would convince you to do it? I don't know, 50 bucks? 50 bucks? Okay. <laughs> it's the same kind of thing as Batman. It just, it, it feel, seems like a game that wouldn't really be my cup of tea. Kind of slow and... What about, what about Legend of Zelda Link to the Past? What would it take for you to play that one? I might be more interested in Dark Souls than that. 
What? I just don't like 2D Zelda. Dark Souls, I don't, I don't think I like. 2D Zelda, I know I don't like. So it would be more to, for you to play uh, through Link to the Past. Yeah. How much? A hundred? Double that of Dark Souls. <laughs> it's fair enough, I suppose. Um... What a, what about uh, what about a stream of you playing uh, classic Doom? Well, oh, that's like, short. Doom. Yeah, I probably wouldn't be any good at it. That's fine. But, okay, you, you play through it, but you got to play through it on ultra violence. Is that a, a high difficulty mode? That's the uh, highest without it being completely unfair. That could take me a long time. Yeah. Okay, I, I saved. That'd, that'd be a that'd be a hundred at high difficulty. Okay. If it was the easiest mode, I'd do it for like twenty. All right. Uh. I still don't know why you don't like two D Legend of Zelda games. I, it. It's fascinating. Yeah. started another uh, Minecraft world, this time in Bedrock, because I know someone who might have been interested in playing, and he only has the console version. Uh, Bedrock's very different. Just in terms of, like, the menus and how everything's laid out, it feels like a mobile game. It And it feels like sense. I'm getting advertised to constantly. I like it. Seems like it's a page right out of history. Yeah. You get it? Okay, don't don't kill the Porygon. I'd like to catch this. It's thrashing about. From what I heard, apparently, like, a game that's similar to... Like, Pokemon in terms of, like, just straight-up bat battling mechanics is, like, uh, Shin Megami Tensei. Oh, yeah? Because you, you can only, like, uh, have certain amount of... only four amount of moves at once. <clears throat> wow, the, uh... What version are you? You're in black. Yeah. Okay, so you can catch the opposite fighting type in Rustling Grass, but it's only a 5% chance. Oh, wow. Please don't KO. Ah! This is a much more expansive area than I thought. Wake up, slap. I think it's a 50 power move? Stronger if they're asleep. Oh, but naturally stronger than Rock Smash? Yeah. Oh, 60. 60 power! Ooh. Just by itself <coughs> is 60 power. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Get rid of Rock Smash, then. <laughs> Slap the dog. <laughs> dog slap. Pokemon, but with realistic dog pain sound effects. That's mean. There's fucking... There's crawdads and Gyarados and giant things in this field of grass. It's play here. We gotta take care of this. All right, how much would it uh, take to uh, get you to play Pokemon Fool Fool's Gold? That's a big time investment. That's true. But it's also Pokemon. 75. 75. 25 more 
than Dark Souls, but 25 less than Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. How long is Dark Souls 1? Oh, Dark Souls 1's long as fuck, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, that just went I... up. What? That just went up. Yeah, I figured it would. <clears throat> Stop drilling me! Uh... Trying to think of what else. What if I were to just get you to watch me play through Legend of Zelda Link to the Past? We tried that. You said it once, and then you and you seem to be enjoying it, and then you're just like, no, never again. Well, no, you just never did it again. Well, you because you said you didn't <laughs> want to do it. I, I assumed, and I was like, what the? what's the point? Well, no, I don't want to do it. There you go. Okay, cool. I can one-hit kill things now. I didn't want to do Lagoon either, but I, I, I acquiesced. Well, then you're going to do Link to the Past at some point. Yeah. We continue that after five years. <laughs> That's the first video on our Zelda playlist. We played that before we played Ocarina. Vanilla. Uh <laughs> it's our first. That's so strange. Okay. Still have the save file for it? Oh, maybe. If not, if not, we could just start it again. Just pretend we've been we're doing it for the first time. Yeah, Gyarados. All right, all right. I think I'm good. I got wake up slap. I'm gonna save first so it doesn't crash before I have to re-unlock it. Atrocious Pokemon, ground type. I just want to get to the nurse. I'm running into the same problem that I have in the, had in the previous randomizers in that it's cool that I can find fully evolved Pokemon just in the wild. Unfortunately, their catch rates are all high, so I lose all my money trying to catch them. Yeah, that's a shame. I'll go for it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go crawfish hunting. This thing always looked like a like a Power Rangers villain. Oh man, you did. You didn't save, did you? I saved when I uh, was at the Pokemon Center. J. Cool versus Lenora. Both the Raven nevermore. Oh, it's a dragon. Rogue dragon. I'm two levels above you. Wake up. Time to die. It's level 20. It has, I wonder when it evolves. Oh, oh, wow. That's why there's a nurse here, because there's lots of poison and paralysis. Oh, it did this fucking thing again, where it just... You know what? I'm gonna put Ringa in front. <sighs> it's just... Oh, I'm still body alive! Body checking you. I survived that somehow. Why does your slap sparkle? I don't know, because it's... Is it a JoJo like... slap? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Secret sword? Alright, here's what I'm going to do. So now Goku. I right, heal Buggy.
Hypnosis. <laughs> All right, sure. Let's let's fucking throw it out, huh? It kind of looks like a Muppet. Yeah, it does. Oh, it's asleep. The uh, fighting Michael bivalve with secret sword. By the way, I should mention that the the person behind fighting fight fight like a uh, firefight decks. Yeah, is uh, he retired? Is oh. uh, that work? How far did he get? Uh, I think to Gen three. <gasps> what? You waited until just now to retaliate, you prick. Fine. It's a, oh. I think it's a base 70 normal move. I'll bet that's the TM you get after this gym. Oh, still alive. Can I... Oh, I think he's faster than me. He waited until just now to fucking... What a dick. Well, it's a good, thing, right. good thing he didn't use it after the previous Pokemon died. Hello! Just a uh, big old dragon. It's a lot of fun stuff in this field of grass. Razor shell. Gotcha! <clears throat> Once again, I cut a worthless object. Wow, that was good. Threes and twos across the board. Goku leveled up too. What? Who's Goku? The monkey? Yeah, fire monkey. Fighting style is so enchanting; it is charming. You are worthy of receiving this basic badge. It's it's a line. Yeah. So that's two. And I get Retaliate. So 70 base power, twice as strong if something died the previous turn. Dear! He Plasma is threatening to steal some bones! Okay, why? <laughs> Great robbery. Yeah, I will. Just let me save first, lady. Thank you. <clears throat> Sorry, my existence is unstable. Uh, nose roll out. Uh. Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. Mm. That's not good. <laughs> Hold on, can I? The resetting hotkey doesn't work either. It's 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 dead. <sighs> um, I c I can look up if anyone else is having this problem. Yeah, please do. If, if this is going to be an is a, a constant issue, then I think we should we should put this on hold until we can find a way to stabilize it. Game crashes when saving in Pokemon White. Slash black. Well, that's the that's the first result I got. Uh, do, oh. you want, do you want me to reset you for now? I uh, just read it. What, what's the uh... <clears throat> bug is already known and a bit of a specter. weren't able to reproduce or pin down by much because it seems to occur after a long playtime and seemingly at random. Probably Wi-Fi related because disabling the sea gear allegedly prevents it from happening. You're not. You don't have sea gear enabled. I, I enabled it the second time, because oh. you said it didn't matter. Well, I guess we'll Wait, just have to crashing? not... Why are crashing? I don't know. That's a good question, too. Maybe I've just been lucky. <sighs> Alright. Reset the thing. I guess we'll just have to make fully sure not to use Sea Gear.
All right, disable sea gear. No. And the sound died. No, it's still there. Can you not hear it? Oh, I can't hear it. Hit no. Nice. Okay, I can hear it now. <clears throat> All right. Uh, what's my twenty? Yeah. All right. So you did save just before the challenge, though. Yes, I did. You just have to fight her again. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I might need to heal, though. Nah, that's fine. See if there's a newer version of Melon DS. I don't think I've checked in a while. Let's just. I want to see if I can just do this. Come on, doggy. Let me know just before you save next. We can do a save state. Sounds good. I test the challenge rock every day with my Pokemon. Oh, they're trying to do the, the punch the rock round thing. I crit him. <clears throat> Alright. I'm not falling. I have an idea. I can get a yawn off. Uh, Kadabra, fight, hit the rock. Yawn. Oh, it just leered. Good. I win. Alright, I'll use my second turn to, uh, heal up, uh, Bucky in the event that this doesn't work out. Okay, crunch. Cool. What is Gyarados like? Klutz. I have a klutzy Gyarados. Wake up slap. And a dragon type full special attack. On. There we go. That actually worked out way better than, than the previous time. I That worked out so much better. I don't think there's ever been a Pokemon game with a new game plus. Like, maybe you get to keep the entire contents of your PC. That'd be cool. Basic badge again. Retaliate, yep. Manager. Oh, look, an appropriate your... Pokemon for this part of the game. Alright. Oh, sorry, they gotta steal their bones. Yeah. Here we go. Alright, do the thing. There you go. Did it save state? Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> it did it! Cool. Wait. Okay, there it goes. I've never encountered it. Like, it's, it's always kind of interesting to see a game this grumpy. This is a grumpy-ass game. I wonder how deep the uh, DS emulation scene is. Because it seems like... 
It's, it's pretty much just Melon DS and Desmume, and neither of them are fantastic. I would, it was a very popular system. I would think there would be a lot of people who cared about it. I think right now there are, people are trying to crack Switch emulation. <clears throat> oh, it's Curlia! Oh, that might already have a Gardevoir. We, Team Plas Plasma, claim this museum's dragon skull in the name of Pokemon Liberation. People talk like this. To show you we're serious, we'll steal it right before your eyes! It's the Lelouch wannabe. Oh, well then, here's our smokescreen. Plasma! What's going on? I think my dragon's too strong to catch Pokemon. Can't hold its strength. Good day, finding good fossils lately. This is a surprise visit. Are you suffering from artist's block again? Um, uh... Jay Cool, this is Berg. He may not look like it, but he's Castelia City's gym leader. Just looking for a change of pace. Seems hectic or something around here. What's up? Oh, What's up? Much. Someone just walked away with an exhibit. Hi, oh, hey. I'm here too. Oh, hey, Jay Cool. What's everybody doing here? Is there some kind of problem? Your friends. Oh, I see. They're trainers. Let's split up and search. Alright, so we gotta go to Pinwheel Forest now. Hey, we got... I got a... <coughs> dowsing machine. It's the item finder. It's useless, oh. just like in every other game. Well, I finally got a grass move, but I don't know if I want it more than leech seed. Nah. All right. I like leech seed. Oh, I should have healed. Probably still can, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Sorry, I'll be right back again. Okay. Sorry. No, I want the type coverage. I'm gonna save first, just in case it didn't work out. Well, my dragon seems like he's doing... She's pretty strong. A lower special attack stat, but she can... I mean, still make use of Leaf Tornado. I want to ditch Dratini. Put the others away as well. There was one I wanted to catch that was here. It was, uh, Haxorus. <laughs> There's a lot of, like, cool dragons on this route. Can Absol run from Gyarados? Oh, come on! Oh, but Haxorus was the, uh, it, it replaced the fighting type Pokemon. It's gonna be the 10% encounter.
already got you. Give me Haxorus. I want my dinosaur dragon thing. Axe face. on Curlia that won't knock it out. I think Thunder is my weakest, but why do I have it instead it as preferable to Shadow Ball, I wonder. Oh, that did like nothing at all. Maybe I can paralyze it. Don't crit. Perfect. I think I have a, already have a Gardevoir, but I'm not 100% sure, so I, I'll catch this anyway. I guess Gallade is also an option. If I were to catch a male Curlia. Poison Grass. Eventually I'll reach a point where my Pokemon are well picked enough and also high enough level that I don't have to be afraid of the wildlife but uh, right now I got low level just smattering of Pokemon being faced with Gyarados and Haxorus and Pineco okay sure low chance that you'll be worth anything but I'll give you a shot knows Giga Impact. Oh, that was super effective. Things got high defense. So this is probably the 10% encounter in this area. There's too many for the others. I am very confused about how encounters work. Maybe it doesn't match the original encounter tables. Maybe it generates a whole new table for every area. I thought it was just one for one randomization. It just replaced every uh, every vanilla pool Pokemon. Unless maybe I accidentally walked into some rustling grass for... Uh, for Haxorus or something. So it's a ghost pine co. A lot of ghosts in my in my version of Unova. Is it Unova or Unova? I don't actually know. I've still never played a Heart Gold Soul Silver. Considered doing a stream of that. I just don't know how I would fit it in with other Pokemon stuff. I mean, it could be like a solo stream. Why are you. There's more? Why are you here? They have to be new encounter tables. Ah! Oh. It blew up didn't affect me, but that kind of sucks. Give me Haxorus. I want the dragon. I like dragons.
What are your guys' favorite Pokemon types? I am partial to Dark, Steel, and Dragon. I think if I had to pick one, it would be Dark. Oh, that's right. Porygon Z, I never got to catch either. Alright. Lowish health and paralyzed. It's also a, a stage 3 evolution, so how easily am I going to be able to catch it? I only have 15 balls left. Come on. Stay in there. You like the balls. Yeah! Wow, that was surprisingly effective. Maybe I capped catch rates. Maybe that was a randomizer feature. It's pure flying. All right. I'm out of clever names to give to Pokemon. This is a good catch. I'm still not leaving without my dragon, though. I think it's my Metformin. Is that one of your medications? That's the uh, the one for the for the uh, type two. Oh. I it's just delayed acting one, but I had to take some. I had to up my dosage, and it's either that or something I ate for lunch. I keep running into exploding machamps. They're going biscuit all of them, just disintegrating. <laughs> all right, so I guess I'm going to the forest now. Do I heal? <coughs> no, I didn't. That's what I was gonna do. There's a nurse that'll heal you. On oh, the in, the, there, in the woods? Just right there, yeah. Oh. Oh, they were... That's cool. Which is... If I think... You remember, I found it weird that there were doctor opponents in Sword and Shield that don't heal you. Because they started doing that in this gen. Oh, yeah. And then I guess they just stopped. Well, this was the easy gen. There are two ways out of Pinwheel Forest, one that goes straight and one that winds through the woods. I'll take the straight road! Of course you want us to take the winding road. Yeah, it's the best road. <clears throat> All right. That gym trainer was bullshitting you, right? Like, I've never seen a trainer so strong! <laughs> I just... He was mocking. I just want to be supportive of new trainers. Nice driving, son. Hey! Keep time with each other in one, two, punch! I am fighting... Twins. Mayo and May... Who the fuck names their kid Mayo? Suaddle. Dragon Ball names. Mayo and Naze. Oh, yeah. You're not wrong. Oh, cool. It'll take out <laughs> both of them. Cool. Uh, and then... Psywave. Nope. Psybeam. Nope. Yawn. Okay. In incinerate! We'll stop when you want to. I think you could we could get through this forest and into the next city. Oh shit, Psychic is not very effective against Bug, I forgot. Or... Thing oh, it's flying about. type. It's an exploding flying muscle man. Oh, cool. Kill them both at once. Ah! <coughs> All right, a fanfic is a crossover between a uh, Death Note and Persona Five. 
Okay. Do you know anything about Persona 5? I know the basic plot line is that uh, some people are being real dicks, and uh, so the main character, Joker, a.k.a. like Ren, a.k.a. Bayonetta's son, uh, is like leader of a, a group of thieves. They insert, they uh, infiltrate uh, their like mind palaces to steal the thing that corrupts their hearts and have them do a change of heart and then they just like repent and so and so they get a request uh, by like by uh, Sayu who's like I think my brother's Kira and they're like wait what <laughs> and so they they do they in input they uh, infiltrate his mind palace and they f and they fight him and they steal his like mind treasure and and Lights like, oh my god, I'm a f I'm, what the fuck? He doesn't turn himself in though, because nobody he thinks, oh, nobody's gonna believe me. So, so then he's like all miserable and just all depressed. And Ryuk's like, now nah, I'm gonna stay. This is funny too. Yeah. <laughs> and so, and is there so ever any attempt to enter Ryuk's mind? N no, they just look at him. He's like, oh, you're a Shinigami. He's like, yeah, I'm not supposed to be in this other world. They get territorial. <laughs> it's just. And so, uh... Oh, are you, uh... You stubborn brat! You weaponized twins to stop me. Pssss. Pss. Pisma. Just v Pisma. Oh, this isn't a double battle. You think it was? Oh, that's I, right. I was... the, twi the twins was a double battle, wasn't it? Yeah. So, uh, sand dial, ground dark. Good guess. So after a while, after a while of him just being all sad about it, he finally awakens his like persona. It's like the Count of Monte Cristo. Okay. That's not. Are they like named after old books or something? I think they're just named after whatever. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this is after he meets like a psychic. He confesses, "Yeah, I've done some horrible shit." And the guy, uh, the psychic, the fortune teller's like, "That's fine. Here, let me let me see your uh, your your uh, fortune." I guess it's it's all very complicated. I'm not explaining it like very well, but uh, the, the end gist. result is that you. D so yeah. it's it's a like a reformed light after they they fix his heart or whatever. Oh, I can't switch out because I've been trapped. Yeah, yeah, basically that. <clears throat> because his sister was like, was like, we just, she just wants her brother back. That's which is, you know, I figured that's what Sayu would do if uh... that. But uh, Naruto asks them to come fix Sasuke. So <laughs> it's been to hey, Sasuke's felt really down lately. You guys think you could take a look at him? And so they enter his mind palace. His, his desire they, that would be just him giving up revenge against uh, Itachi, though, considering that that's. Apparently, how stealing their, changing their heart works. Yeah. But he'd have to fight. He'd probably be his inner mind is probably like a cursed. It's probably like, cause uh, Persona Five is a dungeon crawler. So basically, they would go into their mind, which is like a dungeon. And Light's mind was like the world, except covered with like gallows and shit, yeah. and like cultists, cause he thinks he's God and all that. So what would Sasuke's inner mind? be like then probably like the fucking like like uh uchiha compound burning and shit and like probably like look family. a lot like itachi's vision that he, oh, that he yeah. put him through yeah I gotta he's also got part. a lot of resolve for that killing itachi thing so that'd be uh that'd the be tough a tough fight. thing for them to yeah oh my god his hatred's so strong i gotta play persona 5 I I heard I I, I like only heard positive things. Yeah, so. I also don't know if I've mentioned it, but uh, Dragon Quest XI looks great. You should check out the demo. I I, I should check out the demo. Vinny oh, uh, Vinny played it and unexpectedly fell in love with it, like to a degree that he loves Chrono Trigger. Well, I like Chrono Trigger, so I should check it out. Musashi, the best. You're just a kid, a kid on an ego trip. I think that's you, Team Plasma Knights. Alright. 
They're gonna do a uh, they're gonna do a Pokemon Legends game for for Unova, and instead of the, the there's gonna be a Team Plasma, but they're gonna look like fucking cavemen. Ooga, ooga. Why do you guys always look a thousand years behind? What about this caveman Pokemon? They're gonna what are they gonna be aliens? <laughs> Ancient aliens? It's gonna be the same thing, but a thousand years earlier. Pokeballs bad. Go back nature. <laughs> This is gonna be Cyberpunk one and just these people dressed up like they're nineteen twenties mobsters. Yeah, what is wrong with you people? <laughs> Seriously, you guys are like the Pokemon Amish. By the way, these guys don't like people Pokemon Pokeballs, yet they're using Pokemon. Oh, that's a dark type. Shit. Uh, I'm not paying any attention. Oh, it's a dark type. Yeah, <laughs> you're fucked. It's a dark type. Use the uh, ancient martial art of New York construction. Oh yes, the Fix It Felix style. So if you didn't know any Pokemon in this gen. You just know that it's going to be based on New York, and you're tasked with designing Pokemon for this coming gen. What, what, what are some ideas you'd have for New York Pokemon? Uh, one that looks like a taxi. Yeah? That'd be the Snorlax of this one. Not a taxi driver, a literal taxi. Yeah. Just like yellow, and and it, it, it can actually move, it, can, it likes carrying things. Does it have wheels? Like, uh, like car coal? Oh, yeah. Uh oh. All right, what's what's uh? Might as well. <coughs> Ones we actually got, you know about. We got a construction worker Pokemon. We got a a trash Pokemon. Yeah, rubbish. I guess those are the most New York ones. Uh, well, a pigeon. Hey, I'm walking here! Walking. Walk in there. This is, a, this is a Pokemon that loves to walk. <laughs> I found a giant oh. dragon in this grass earlier, and I'd really like to find another one. You don't have any fire, do you? Oh yeah, that one fainted. I should probably go back to that nurse. Not very effective. Of course, <laughs> punching is weak against bugs. Yeah. For some reason. I tried punching a spider, and then it caught my punch in one of its legs. You fool, and just this is not very it. effective. Yeah, truly, you have to kill it with fire. Like in that hit video game, kill it with fire. That's the only way you can kill the bug. Or you can just tackle it. That's normal enough that it could reasonably work. Regis cannot be defeated by such puny physical techniques. This is a lost cause. I gotta go. We uh, started watching Megas XLR. Yes, I. Uh, it's it's. A show you remember genius. fondly. Yes, Coop is a genius, uh, but and yet an idiot. Just finds a, like a giant robot and is able to reverse engineer it despite not knowing anything about fucking like super futuristic tech. But all he cares about is fighting things and eating. <coughs> the point where Kiva's like, I can't pilot this. Yeah, well, I can. It's my robot. Hey, what the fuck? I like how they felt the need to explain the giant robot with time travel. Like, the robot and Kiva are from the future. Making you think it that would be, like, a necessary explanation for such technology. But then every episode is just like present-day aliens coming down. Yeah, 
Which makes me think that she didn't go to the past, she went to another universe. Wait, you guys just get aliens here? All the time? Uh, yeah. I... Like, nobody's even phased by the fact that there's a giant robot, which means something happened in this universe's... People do timeline. undersell Magus quite a bit. They just kind of yeah. look at it. Just like when they were in traffic, it was like, Hey, watch where you're going! Shut yell, raising his arm to the giant robot. I think they go to the <laughs> DMV in a later episode. Yeah. It's great. Just... Cool, got a Vinipede. What does that evolve into? Something poisonous, I bet. It's a giant poison bug. That has, like, a super broken hidden ability, I think. But, uh... What's his hidden ability? You can't get it in-game normally. It's, it's like an event thing or something, it's hidden abilities. But, uh, I think it can get the speed boost. The one that raises its speed every turn. Oh, that one. So it can just be a giant barreling centipede that steamrolls teams. I'm, I'm never going to find my dragon. Oh, that attitude. Did we ever watch that uh, Jekyll and Hyde cartoon? I think we did. The Australian one? Yeah. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I'll never recover. Not with that attitude. <laughs> I don't remember a ton about it. I do remember the, the, the Christmas yep. cartoon where she has to want to get better. That wasn't the one with the yeah, Ick Factory, was it? Uh, that was the Yuck Factory, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was the one where was <laughs> she has to wonder is this the same disease that makes her unable to walk yes I think my favorite part of that movie was the kids like facing so some some obstacle and they're like this is stupid we should all just give up you should leave us to die snowman and the snowman's like okay bye <laughs> that snowman did not want to be there it did not just want to be there at all what was Can the name of that movie? Yeah. Uh, Magical Gift of the Snowman. That was it. Yeah, that... You could do the watch with the guys for that for Christmas. <laughs> That's a movie no one would care if we put on YouTube, right? No, I, I don't think... Who owns, the right, who owns the rights to it and wants to enforce that copyright? I think... Okay, oh man. What about the... What's your favorite one of those, like, knockoff cartoons that we've seen so far? What did we watch? We watched that. We watched, uh... Shitty knockoff Thumbelina. Shitty knockoff that... Hunchback. What, did we watch multiple shitty knockoff Hunchbacks? There mo there exist multiple of them, but I only th I think we only watched the one. Golden Films? Yeah. Or, uh, Secret no, we watched... Hunchback. Yeah, Secret of Hunchback. I don't know if that was the Golden Films one. It was the I one think... where the bad guy looked like Gaston. That was supposed to be Frollo, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, it was Gaston. <laughs> and he was apparently a sheriff. <laughs> the sheriff of Notre Dame. And, uh, what else? Um, that was the one where, where, where Quasimodo was about to be, like, executed or punished or something. And alongside Esmeralda... And the one guy that Bard saved Esmeralda went to, to Quasimodo and was like, We will avenge you, friend! And then they fucked off. <laughs> and you were, you were comparing it to, like, something that the fucking, uh... The fucking... Ursa Yatsura? Yeah, we're just... Because they make like, that joke a lot in that show. Yeah. We will avenge you, friend. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Bye. <laughs> it was good. It was it was it was fun. But it wasn't like 100% bad. You know how the uh, 
how the movie ends, right? I do remember the ending of the movie. Should we spoil Which... it? Yeah, it's like... <laughs> Go watch it yourself, kids! Um, I don't think we watched a lot of, like, Golden Film stuff. It's all, like, ripe for us doing a watch, I guess. Oh, yeah, they're all, they're all really, they're all really just out there. Along with Dingo Pictures. Oh, Dingo Pictures. <laughs> the barely I don't know if that would even be entertaining bad, though. That's oh, just it, bad, it, bad. Yes, yeah, it is entertaining. The, uh, the, their version of the Lion King is, is amazing. With lines like... You know, we could be friends. No, I think we should be enemies. Good line. <laughs> or the fact that uh, that the plot of, of their Lion King involved, uh, like, finding diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, for lions finding diamonds? <laughs> yes, lions in the jungle. Not anthropomorphic, just jungle lions are like, We've gotta find the diamonds. Why? <laughs> And, um... Oh, cottony. That could be useful. I, I don't think I have any grass types. I think it... Does it become grass flying or is it always pure grass? I'm sure there are other grass types. If nothing else, you know there are at least a lot of Pokemon in this gen. Yeah. So you can afford to be picky. We also already had a cotton Pokemon. We had like Jump Pluff. All right, get the Pokemon. I think my favorite one of those like uh, Golden Films Good Times like knockoff uh, cartoons was the Thumbelina one. Yeah. Because that was one where it was just Thumbelina wasn't like a, like a girl born out of a flower, but just like my father like, oh god, the dam's about to break. Thumbelina, go get help. And she's like, okay. And then at one point she takes a nap at a flower and this witch comes and is like, yes, perfect. This will solve my problems. I got you the child, I promised you. Like, fuck, I can create one. What am I? It was great. It was, it was like... <laughs> and it was just some random lady was the mother. The bird sounded like a, a weird stalker dude. Hello, Thumbelina. Yes. I'm glad that we've met. <laughs> yeah, it was creepy. Uh, I gotta I don't watch know if we watched again. more than that. Oh, that was the one where I where I lost my shit when uh, when there was this weird janky ass animation where Thumbelina was in bed and then the. The, the, the mouse is going like, Thumbelina, are you asleep? And then he like, closes the door, and for whatever reason, I just could not stop laughing. That wasn't the that, Don Bluth one? That wasn't the Don Bluth one, no. No, I, I, it's on YouTube. It's one of the, it's one of our videos yeah. on, on the main channel. We just, I can, I can show you, I can probably get the fucking, uh, no, I, I believe you. I may have to give up on the dragon. Oh, we talked about the Ranma fighter earlier. So that was your first exposure to Ranma 1 half, was the Super NES fighting game. Yeah. And not even I in... It was localized. It, they made it in English, not with the dub cast, but uh, they just got some random schmucks to do English voices for the game. Yes. Are you a detective, sir? With some weird cover art. I got I, Ronda one half SNES cover art. I don't know if that was American cover art or uh, if it was the same in Japanese. Oh, you gotta show me. Oh God, not this again. Thought I took you out last time. Damn fucking dog. I don't know where I would find, like, different versions of the cover. Ah. Oh, hey! That's nice of you. Thank you. Shit. 
shit, that was a bad mistake. Oh, again? Alright. I would venture it had a different... I, I would venture this is, is an American cover, because it just looks too off-model to have been the Japanese one. Oh my god! <laughs> Everyone just looks so derpy. Yeah, so, the, so Ranma... Oh, you bring it... I uh, was gonna say... Yeah? Ranma looked... Okay, so, Ryuga, if that is his real... if that is him... But it looks really just smushed, like a like a bulldog's face, uh, and Ranma looks like really, yeah, really off. But what really gets me is Ginma the panda. He looks just, ready to kick ass. The, the, it, it looks like it's like, hey, uh, we got this fighter. I want you to design a cover for it, and they just don't know what Ranma is all about. And this is what they came up with. He looks like a baby-faced Chad, is what Ronma looks like. That's the best Chad? I can describe him. Like... <laughs> yeah. It's so off-model. <coughs> what are the other ones? I have the Sailor Moon... Super NES fighting game. Oh, yeah. Which, thankfully, that one has all the characters unlocked immediately. That's good. That one is by the Arc System Works. Wait! Wait, Arc System Works did that? Did the Super NES uh, Sailor Moon game. No way! Yep. Oh, that's... That... <laughs> wow! And apparently, I think all of them have some, like, weird gimmick to them. I don't rem remember what they all are exactly, but... I guess there was some reason that people found the Ranma Fighter noteworthy enough to play at EVO recently-ish. <laughs> yeah, I I'm wondering about that. Oh, do you have uh, the DBZ uh, Hyper Dimension? I don't know if I have that one. We, we have a few... I have Dragon Ball GT Final Bout I want to check out. And uh, Darian wants us to play the Dragon Ball Evolution game on PSP, the one with the live-action actors. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, apparently it is based off the Budokai games. <laughs> so maybe it'll look shitty, but actually play well. It'll be like that Street Fighter game based off the movie. Yeah. Hello, where you been? How have I not encountered you in all this time? <clears throat> Alright, I'll have to throw some rocks at it. Now, I know Dratini is a ghost. I wonder if Dragonite is another type as well. Well, it's dead. Doesn't matter. Oh, another timber. Yeah. I, fortunately, I got the perfect counter for that. Paprika in a combat situation. I talked about, uh, like, Ursa Yatsura would be weirdly fitting for a fighting game with a lot of the characters, like, powers and, and gimmicks. Oh, I, yeah. I can't... Like, I can't picture a, a Satoshi Kon fighting game. Like, oh, I guess it's Toshi Kone, like, fighting him with all the characters from all his works. Like, Tsukiko with a weird, like, Maromi summon power. Little slugger. <laughs> uh, just, uh, the... <laughs> just, like, uh, the... The fake, uh... Idol from, uh... From Perfect Blue. Just, flo just floating. Yeah, that, that but... weird hopping around kind of movement. But it's supers, uh, it turns into into uh, the manager lady. The, mo the lady from Millennium Actress isn't playable, but the camera crew guys are. The old man and the, and the young guy. Oh, yeah. They're, 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 it's like ice climbers. 
It'd be like some weird gimmick fighter where everyone was super specialized, like uh, like Phoenix Wright in Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh yeah. What the? Is this slime? It's just piles of. Okay, one of them was a person. I am a ninja. <laughs> okay. I'm done with the dragon. I gotta I gotta go fight Lenora. I still haven't. And Sage! Something tells me this isn't a good matchup. It's neutral. Okay. I didn't even look in the dark grass, but I don't want to. I, ca I can't take any more new Pokemon encounters. So Buggy has become my MVP. Yeah. I think because he's like the knockoff Machop of this generation, he's a trade evolution. But we have your version oh. fixed, so that's not the case. Oh yeah, so this was uh, modified so that trade evolutions no longer. Uh... Right. Yeah, save state me first. Yeah. You're good. Thank you. I'll have to double check between streams what the uh, conditions for evolution are. I assume it's just level, but uh, I'll make sure. Trade evolutions kind of just don't make any sense in the context of, like... Especially since these are handheld games. Like, you'd have to be a kid who brings a trade cable to school. Which, you know... How many pe how many kids like that were there? Um... It depends <laughs> on where you live. If you lived in Missouri like I did, Pokemon was probably the devil. Oh man, there's a uh, wave of uh, people making Pokemon-like games uh, for quite a while. Yeah. And uh, one of them was based off the uh, Shin Megami Tensei universe, and they're like guns and shit, but it had like Pokemon sprite work. Okay. I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna play that actually. Pokemon, but with devils and guns and shit. As opposed to the ones that was just Pokemon, but with guns. You remember that? Oh, yeah, that it looked one. like Fortnite styled. Oh man, I still. <clears throat> People are looking forward to that because it's just weird enough. I wonder how Cor I think Coromon came out. Oh yeah, uh, uh, Critical played that on stream. Was any good? Um. I don't know. I didn't. I I skimmed through it. It looked kind of like it looked like Pokemon. Somebody said, "So yeah, it's like Pokemon, but for adults." But it looked like it just looked like. Uh, I'll have to like take a better gander at it. It was that and like a, a like a Temmon or something. Oh yeah, that that's like some of the main attempts to overthrow Pokemon. How about you do Pokemon, but instead of, like, there it just being creatures, it's just, like... Oh, no, we had that. It was called Yokai Watch. But... Pokemon? But cross with, like, how Personas are worked, and they're basically knockoff stands. You can collect, like, fighting spirits, and it's like you're fighting with the spirit. Yeah. Yeah, just JoJo, but as a Pokemon game, where you're collecting stands... And rather than it, like, just wandering around grass, you can, like, get these wild spirits to come to you. Jotaro, that's not an evil spirit. It's something called a stand. You can use, you, you fire arrows at the spirits to, like, uh, trap them within you. And you can equip them and shit. Wasn't there a version of the dub where uh, Old Joseph was still British? I think so. I don't know if that was like a, a, a demo of it or what that version was. 
I think that was the one that showed up once and then never again. Yeah. Uh, I think mine just crashed. When was the last time you saved? Just now. Oh, cool. Oh no. Well, it still responded to the reset. Does this this person just have all the monkeys? Oh, uh, they're just it's it's spread out among multiple people. Oh, it's just monkey forest. Yeah, these are giving me berries. This is a very conveniently right. laid out forest. Yeah. Ugh, this Aerodactyl's gonna be a death of me. Maybe it has low special defense. Maybe I can Kamehameha it. Kamehameha Doken. Did I lose part of my screen? I did. Glad I caught that. Nope. It's just tough as nails. An air dactyl, of course. It's flying rock. Well, I mean, it was. It's, I don't know what it is now. I think. Oh, well, the cut is not very effective, so it's presumably still rock type. I think it's rock poison. Oh, because it can. It knows sludge and shit. That's All my right. guess. Okay, that's why fighting is neutral against it. All right, I need to. I need to think of type effectiveness. Psychic uh, is useful against uh, poison, uh, and I think it's neutral against rock, so it'd be times two if you have one of those. I might have to use my, my water dragon is all I've got. Yeah. Rock poison. I think we've had one of those. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but... Apparently it's not just Kartana. Like, all of the Ultra Beasts have ultra bizarre <laughs> voices in the anime. Makes sense, since, since they're not necessarily Pokemon, but rather they're, uh... Uh, Saucy pointed out that Guzzlord, which is just like a giant... Kirby mouth, evil-looking dragon... Just screams. <laughs> it just goes around like... <laughs> That's good. I like that. Are you new, Yawn? You motherfucker! Well, if you swap out this within a turn, you won't fall asleep. No need, I killed it. But yeah, that's what I was thinking. Did you feel my wildness? Yeah, you're certainly wired. I am wild. a wild and crazy guy. All right, I, I know your game. I'm gonna aqua tail you. Actually, I'm gonna put you to sleep for good measure. Oh uh, no! Uh, Don't poison. Ah. Uh, got to be fast, too. I, I'm, I'm really have to bend up having to bend over backwards for this aerodactyl. It's a uh, grass type low kick. It's, uh, yeah, I figured. I remember. Uh, I don't have any grass types that can use it, though. Alright. Absol for sleep, and then I'll use my water dragon. <clears throat> Oh, 
I hope I'm not going to get through this Aerodactyl just to find out she has an even stronger Pokemon behind it. What was, another? what was her vanilla party? It was the Herdier? It was, uh, and a, it was a Herdier and a uh, evolution of Pet Rank. Yeah. yeah. Go to sleep. There's nothing useful down here. I already got the only useful thing, so... Hello! Halt! In the name of our crusade! Oh, well, I guess I'll take you out now, I guess. Pzzz. It's a very Sonic kind of sound font for that part of the oh, song. Oh, he's got three of them. Don't wake up. Yes! Storm oh, brain. what? <laughs> <laughs> it's immune to water? <laughs> it's, it's, oh, my God. <laughs> it makes sense that she'd be using a fossil, too. Uh-uh-uh, I've thought of that, too. <laughs> right, accidentally launched Sea Gear. Alright, so you can't use water. Um, it, But it doesn't have flying, so ground is on the table. Sorry, one sec. Come on, it... turn on so I can turn it off. I want, I want to turn off my Sea Gear. Yes, turn off. See your turn off. I guess I'm just gonna have to I put it to sleep and wail on it with my uh, Absol. Sand Dial is again ground dark, so. Yeah. Oh, it's dark, so fighting again. They didn't want fighting to be... They didn't want me to use fighting. They should have made it so useful. So what type do you think bird commands? Uh, bird? What? The the gym leader you met from the next town. Berg, oh. Berg. Berg. Uh, fighting? No, he says uh, something about art. So, psychic? What type is it? It's bug. Oh, okay. So I'm going to have to train up my fire type. <clears throat> How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? Gore oh, of the, the seven sages. The sages <laughs> oh. now? Oh, no. You guys are in the wrong fucking game. This is a no this is a Pokemon game. This is not Final Fantasy. This is not Legend of Zelda. Oh man, can you imagine like like you're playing like a like a Grand Theft Auto type game, and then the main villain turns out to be Ganondorf, and he has all the powers of Ganondorf, and all these people are like, what the fuck? <clears throat> and then and then you're playing Legend of Zelda, and the main guy turns out to be a, a mobster. Well, at least it wouldn't be Ganondorf. Oh. <sighs> You're gonna heal your shit, aren't you? Yeah, super potion. J. Cool Berg! I hear B Berg and I'm like, Blur! Is this guy the big boss? No, that's another game. I am one of the seven sages of Team Plasma. Getsis, another one of the seven sages, will liberate Pokemon with words alone. Remainder have ordered their compatriots to take Pokemon with full force. Odds are a little against us now. Dude. You, the bug Pokemon user Berg, and the normal Pokemon user Lenora, I say, know your enemies, know your... I'll just fuck off already.
We'll settle this someday. He, he uses a lot of words to say nothing. No, he's saying something. He's saying he's a fucking coward and that he's going to continue to steal Pokemon and that the skull was all for nothing. Hey, he did it! All right, I want to see what your next po what the next Pokemon you got to fight is. It could be a Tyranitar, a Mewtwo or some shit. Rayquaza. Got to send out Turtwig. Turtwig. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, right, right, I got to Turtwig once. Try to be safe, put it to sleep. <laughs> I'll be at the next gym. Looking forward to it. Yay. If nothing hey, else, I have still... lucked out with the, the sleep moves on my team. That's that's good. This is a moonstone. Does now Muna I... evolve with it? Oh yeah, try. Should I evolve it now? Probably. Let me look up Muna. Musharna. Let me make sure that. Uh... Yep, Abel. All right. Well, let me ma ma let me make sure Musharna doesn't learn learn like no moves or anything. Once a uh, Bulbapedia wants to load, learn set, generation five. Uh, it learns no moves. What? Oh, by evolving or just in general? Once uh, I evolve it, it just... once it evolves, it learns no moves naturally. So it would have to rely on like TMs. Okay. So uh, what moves does uh? Muna will learn hypnosis, Zen okay, headbutt, good. synchro that's... noise. All right. Uh, hmm. Future sight, psychic. Oh, psychic's good. What what level does it learn psychic at? Thirty seven. And there's also a psychic. Mm. There's a psychic TM though. Where is that? I want hypnosis at the very least. That's the next one. Replace you learn. yawn. Yeah, they could replace yawn. Well, yawn is a hundred percent. Hypnosis oh. is like sixty accuracy, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. No. Ugh, I gotta yep. go back. For it. Oh no! <laughs> Trainer Gauntlet. The psychic is available like late game. Yeah, well, uh, I, I think I should just. Uh... You learn Future Sight at level 31. That's a hundred power. That's pretty good, and that's psychic too, right? Yeah. Well, there you go. Oh, my my thing died. Uh, Kadabra, punch it. <clears throat> I did it. Oh my gosh. It's psychic flying. Oh, is it psychic? I thought it was dark for some reason. That would be even worse for you. I don't I don't have anything that's like that's like 100% effective against it then. Uh, Cause, electric. Cause it's ice dark. You don't have any dark attacks? I don't have any dark attacks, no. Fortunately, I have a fucking fighting. Oshawa. I think you get a chance to catch the the dark ground crocodile soon. That'll be useful. Uh, send in another Wubat. Now I'll keep fighting. I got. Oh, it's Lunar Dance. What is that? The user faints. Great. Oh, taking its place will have its status and HP fully restored. That's 
that's competitive. It's a weird specific support move, but I guess it could conceivably be useful. I don't Anyone? see that a lot in like competitive gameplay that I've seen. I didn't know it exists. Maybe it's a maybe it's like a signature move. Baton pass is usually like a more ideal one. It's banned in competitive though. What baton pass? Yeah. Oh yeah, I see it in anything goes. Yep, it's a signature move of Cresselia, which is a legendary in previous gen. Ah. Yeah, I think I gotta call it soon. I'm not. I'm starting to kind of just get a headache. Are you at the end of the forest? Yeah, I just finished the. Uh... Oh crap! I think. Okay, I... he's almost dead, but not dead enough. I think there all we... you have to do is walk across a bridge for the next town. And there's no trainers or anything. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a neat perspective. They're, uh, they're using the 3D now. Yeah. They rendered everything in 3D in Gen 4, but they didn't really ever move the camera or anything. Glad they did. Also, there's cars in this in this uh, Pokemon region, apparently. Yeah, seems like it. I wonder if Mew's under any of them. <laughs> just just found under the other underside of cars. This is cool. This was their chan their big chance to show off the 3D. Look at how big Unova is. Welcome to New York, New York. We were in the suburbs. We were in Jersey before. Now we're in New York. I don't want to go all the way to New York just to get a slushy. <laughs> you're, you're like, you're in a giant robot. Just fly there. <laughs> they literally went into space within like less than a minute. Yeah. Uh, want to recover Pokemon? Sorry. Do you know Geonet? No. Is that like Skynet? It's it's online. Yeah, I'm not though. So. All right. Uh, safe state me, bro. Thank you. All right. Well, that was Pokemon right. for the day. We made yeah, progress. Was... Sorry, I, I kind of crashed halfway through. No, I, I, uh. I figured we. That was almost three hours. So that's good. It's a lengthy stream. We got to the the big city of, of, of the region. And we're on to, I, I guess, gym number three. We, we did two of them. Uh, we'll come back next time. Next time we stream, we're still doing Hat and Time and Zelda. Yeah. I don't know what else. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.